Hello, my name's Dr. Camilla Edwards, and today I'll be teaching you how to scan the adrenal glands. So first we want to find the aorta. We find that mid-abdomen up towards the spine. We're looking for this long anechoic tube here at the top of the screen and we can see it pulsating. We follow that forwards cranially and we see this curved artery leaving the aorta and that is the renal artery. Just cranial to that will be the left adrenal gland. And just cranial to that, we'll find the cranial mesenteric artery and the celiac artery. So once we've got those landmarks, we want to just focus in, put, add a bit of pressure with the probe to try and locate that left adrenal gland. We're looking for a peanut, peanut shaped structure in that area. And there we have it, the left adrenal gland. So now we've turned Pippi over into left lateral recumbency and we're going to look for the right adrenal gland. So again, we want to look for the dorsal blood vessels. So from this side, the nearest vessel we'll find is the caudal vena cava that we can see here right next to the aorta. Um, here in sort of mid um, abdomen, they're very close to each other. As we move cranially, we can see them start to diverge. There we can see the left renal artery leaving the aorta again. As these two blood vessels, the caudal vena cava and the aorta diverge from each other, this is the area we want to fan in to try and find the right adrenal gland. So we just fan slowly in this area and we're looking for a more arrow-shaped or uh, torpedo-shaped structure. And there we can see the right adrenal. We can apply a bit more pressure so that it gets closer to the, closer to the probe. And it's a lot straighter um, than, than the uh, left adrenal, which is more peanut-shaped. And it's about the level of the cranial mesenteric artery that we can see just below there.